Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we are unboxing Starlink Battle for Atlas. This is basically Ubisoft's version of Skylanders. I don't know, it's basically kind of like their take. You get ships, you put them on the thing with the character, and you customize them with weapons and stuff. It's actually a pretty cool idea. You can also buy more ships, which by the way, I'm going to be unboxing this thingy too. Now these things are expensive, they are like... 30 bucks. Well, they're $24.99 each. Those are expensive. Digitally, though, um, you can actually buy all of this stuff digitally. All the ships, all the characters and weapons and stuff. You can actually buy all that digitally. And from what I understand, they're actually half the cost of getting them physically. From what I understand, um, it's still pretty cool that you can get them like that. I don't know. It's interesting. If you don't want them to like eat up your shelf space, you can get them digitally it's kind of cool so yeah i'm unboxing the ps4 version so yeah that's the front let's take a look at the side mix and match parts to overcome new challenges as you play you get mason rana brilliant technology who levels enemies with orbital laser strike you get the zenith lead the battle with a huge energy class ship Get flamethrower, which torch enemies at close range with heat damage. Shredder, um, blast an enemy with three rapidly firing barrels. And frost barrage, slow down an enemy with homing ice missiles. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the back. One, choose your pilot, and you put them on the to the thingy, and select any starship. You put it on there, and then combine any weapons, and you see it come to life in the game. There's all the screenshots and stuff. That's pretty cool. And complete your fleet. There's all this stuff. There's, yeah, there, I think there's four ships. There's a bunch of different characters and a bunch of different weapons. Of course, they're sold separately, and you get that. And uh, let's take a look here. You can, you can do two players locally, or you can play a single player too. You need 25 gigs minimum. You can play it with a controller, obviously. <laughs> It's PS4 Pro enhanced. Um, you can play it in different languages, and those are subtitles too. So it is rated E10 plus for fantasy violence. I don't know if anybody cares for that, but hey. All right, so included inside, you get the Mason figure. You get the Zenith ship. You get all those three weapons. You get the controller mount. You get the game, and you get a poster. So nothing really much on the bottom, actually. There's some legal info, I guess, if you want to read all that. Uh, yeah, it's definitely legal info. And there's the top, which says Starlink, and it's official. It's an official licensed product of PlayStation. All right, so that's a quick overview of the box. I'm actually gonna get this out because I'm gonna need two hands for this, and uh, we'll take a look at everything that's inside. Okay, so a couple of things. Uh, these were underneath it. We'll take a look at those. And this was also underneath it. So this is the case for it. This is the actual box art. And on the back, build your custom starship, battle the Forgotten Legion, set, explore seven diverse planets. It's pretty much all the same stuff that was on the front. Here's the side. Just generic white spine. I don't know. We'll take a look at that in a second. Let's actually take a look at this stuff first. Um, this is all, I think, just... I think this is instructions. Oh, no, they're just... It's just legal info. I believe this is the poster. We'll take a look at that in a second. Let's actually take a look at what comes with the game. So, this is the... Uh, oh, wow, that cord is heavier than the controller mount. Jesus. So... This is the controller mount. It goes onto your controller, and you just plug it into your PS4, as you can see there with that cord. And yeah, you just plop that on your controller, and that's where everything else goes. And actually, I'm surprised these aren't using NFC. In fact, um, oh wow, these things are really in there. Oh, there's a figure. If you actually look closely, they're not using traditional uh, NFC. They, it looks like they just use their... It actually uses like a plug thingy that you plug in. That's interesting. By the way, that's the character. Let's take a look at him. Yeah, that's the character that comes with it. Let's 
take a look at all this other stuff. Let's see. I want to like, oh god, this. Why is all this stuff got to be like really deeply embedded in there? Oh, this thing comes with like a little handle. I think. I don't know. That's the actual purpose of it. But that's like. I don't, know. I don't think that's the, the intended purpose for it. But I use that as like a handle to get it out. So that this is the ship. It comes with it. it kind of looks like something from Destiny, to be honest. I don't know. So if we look on the bottom, you have to see there's that exact same thing. See, I was thinking this is going to be kind of like Skylanders, where it was all NFC-based, and you just scan it, but nope, that's actually like a, like a port that you plug in. And then these are three weapons. Oh, that one actually came out. So that's pretty cool. Again, with the little... Thingy, autofocus, please. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get all these out. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand since I'm holding the camera with the other hand. Uh, here, let me just do a jump cut. Okay, so I got them all out. So this one is like the uh, machine gun, like the Gatling gun. This one's like the flamethrower. And then this one's the freezy thingy. So... That's what you get inside. Um, let's actually do a jump cut, and we, we could take look take a look at the poster too, and then we'll unbox this thingy. <laughs> All right, so jump cut. Okay, it's gonna be kind of hard to flatten itself out because it kind of wants to, yeah, not do that. So that's what the poster looks like. That's what like the general poster is, and then it's also got stuff on the back showing all the characters, all the weapons all the ships that are available, and then you can create the ultimate combo, as you can see here. So that's what's on the poster. So that's pretty cool. And then, now we can take a look at this, this thingy, the ship. Um, I am also going to do a jump cut to get this thing out, but first, let's actually take a look at what's on here. So this is the Neptune ship that comes with the, the, the via Leviator, Levi, Levita Levitator, I am terrible at reading things, it's the Levitator, and Judge, let's take a look at the back, so Judge is the mysterious alien with the power to slow time to his advantage, so his ability is time shift, and that's pretty cool, the Levitator, hold enemies helplessly in the air for an easy victory, and then the Nept Neptune, endure, endure heavy enemy fire with the tank class ship. And then choose your pilot, attach your ship, combine any weapons, and see it come to life in the game. And it's basically all the same stuff that was on the back. So now we can see what is inside of this. Man, so it was a good thing that I still had my scissors on me because, yeah, this thing was... This thing had those little zip tie things keeping these tiny things in. So this is the character. Uh, his, I think his name was Judge. Uh, let me turn on autofocus. There we go. And then this is the, uh, the levitator. And then this is the whole ship. So it's pretty cool. Uh, you don't really get anything else. You get this thingy, um, which is, I believe, like literally the same thing as this that you get in the base game. So yeah, that, that's what you get inside the little ship packages. Um, I didn't buy any of the weapon packs or character packs. I just bought this. So, yeah. And I also just forgot. I never actually showed you what was inside this. So let's do another jump cut and let's show you all. Alright. So let's open this thing up. And oh, so we got the disc here. And then we got a little health and safety warning. So, Yeah. Honestly, that was even more than I was expecting to be in there. So, I was expecting it to just be a disc. So, yeah. So, that is my unboxing of Starlink plus the cool little ship pack that came with it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.